Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> if you can't tell, I got a little cold. But uh, Stephanie and I are headed to the Tampa Bay Boat Show, sponsored by Progressive Insurance, at the Tampa Convention Center. We are going to look at um, potentially our next boat, CV Contender Yellowfin in that order. Probably hop on a conch. 30 and uh, see what else is there to surprise us. Uh, it's our second boat show. Obviously, I'm looking forward to moving up to something bigger in the 30 to 32 foot range. But we already got a mortgage. We don't need another mortgage. So uh, we're going to look and see what we really like in the styles of each boat. And then, you know, in a couple months, try to find something that's uh, used and a little bit more in our price range. But just want to see the options and compare against our Sea Hunt 21. Um, obviously, Sea Hunt Game Fish makes a 30 footer. It's a very nice boat. We love our dealer. We're just going to go and check out some stuff today. But first, we're going to Thai Temple for breakfast. Woo! As I mentioned, I really wanted to check out CV's lineup. This is the 322Z. Uh, a little bit out of my price range, north of 300000 so we jumped on the 29 next to it. Still both awesome boats. Uh, this one was busy with people all day long. Here we are, twin 300 Mercs on the back of the CV29. A uh, lot of room in this boat. Comes with a frigid rigid cooler, dual screens, 12-inch screens. These are Garmin's. Uh, I'm more of a Simurai guy, but I'm sure I could easily get used to Garmin's. Flip up seat, put your phone, wallet, keys, whatnot. Plenty of rod storage with the Key West T-top and huge fish boxes up front. Looking inside the console, uh, to give you an idea, I'm six foot three, so there's plenty of room down there. Uh, it's not overly large, but plenty of room for a head, uh, lots of storage, and you know anything you really ever need offshore. I really like how CV has finished all underneath their hatches. Uh, there's a pipe tube for your anchor. Plenty of room for lots of road and chain. Uh, access to the front as well. Like I said, fish box is huge. This is my friend's son, Caleb. Uh, plenty of room up here. The 29 has a nice tackle station right above your slide out frigid rigid cooler. Um, like I said, plenty of uh, electronics, of course, JL Audio, they always go top of the line. Plenty of rod holders. Premier pontoons. So, Look at this thing, it's got a bar. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go ahead. So it's got twin 350s on it. That is some serious horsepower. Moving on to the Stewart 27. This boat was spec'd out to the max, um, dual 300 Mercury Racing engines, uh, the JL Audio uh, Control Media Master right at the back of the boat. They had a 24 inch Simrad in this thing, uh, all teak finish. The guy, they did a, a fantastic job in this boat. I'd almost be scared to put bloody fish on it. Up front, the seating area done, blown out with JL Audio. I think there were 2700 watts in this boat. Uh, brand new, really nice uh, sombrella fabric up front as well. Moving on, uh, this is the Everglades 335. Way, way out of my price range. They must make a really, really nice boat. Uh, I know friends that have them. They really like them. This thing was specked out, top of the line. You name it, it had it. But uh, really wanted to look and show you guys what a premium yacht center console looks like. Uh, I was bummed there were no yellow fins at the Tampa Bay Boat Show, and the contender that they had was a 30 ST. At 310000 there's no way I can afford it, maybe a 2008 or something, but uh, I was hoping to see a 28S contender, but uh, I'm going to leave you guys with some more footage of the rest of the boat show, and you can kind of check out and see what we looked at.
we just got back from the boat show. Um, boats are expensive. New boats. 20-year loans, thousand-plus dollar a month payments. It's ridiculous. Uh, a lot of horsepower, a lot of cool electronics. The, the theme now seems to be adding Sea Keeper to a lot of boats, which really helps stabilize the boat so that you don't get seasick. I unfortunately get seasick, as you saw in the last video, but unfortunately there was no yellow fin at the event. We saw some really cool, um, you know, like a fountain and other boats like that that are kind of more luxury, um, big money. I mean, they had air conditioning in them. It was almost, it, I mean, you know, they were yachts. It was borderline crazy, a million plus. Uh, but we had a good time, so take a look and let me know what you think.